Okay, this one's about duct heaters. So what is a duct heater? It does not heat duct, by the way. Uh, if you have a situation where one part of the structure that you're trying to heat is not getting enough heat, but you have airflow going there, then you can use a duct heater to supplement the heating system. This could be long runs of duct, a high load area, it's higher than other areas. It's turned on by a thermostat, generally, it doesn't have to be, but it, it's generally turned by, on by a thermostat in the uh, location where it's trying to get the heat. It has one little problem. You can't have this off if the fan's off. So if the fan is off, there has to be some sort of mechanism to shut this down. Now you can use relays and so on like that. In this case, this was one that I was piddling around with in my uh, shop, and I had a pressure switch in here. And I don't have it hooked up right now, but there was a tube that went into the ductwork, and it would sense if there was static pressure in the ductwork from the fan being on. So that is one of the controls. The other control, of course, would be a thermostat in the room. Now, most of the time, these are set up so that the fans are running all the time anyway. But if, perchance, someone was doing service work on the main unit and shut the fan down, this thing has to shut off. Thus, the pressure switch. Okay, the, I have several switches up here that was set up for something I was doing in the shop. They, they're not, they don't really mean anything. The power comes in down here. There's three elements in this thing. And there's two contactors. One contactor does two elements and the other contactor does one. This relay here is what turns those on. So if the thermostat was on, it would turn on this relay, which would turn on both those contactors. Uh, let's take a look at the inside of this thing. You can see we've got these elements that are just stuck into the airflow. Uh, one of them's burned out, you know, probably because something I was piddling around with and I left the fan off and it overheated. They do have, re they do have uh, limit switches on them uh, that are supposed to shut them off, but that's, that's a safety issue. That's not an operation issue. You don't want those things uh, turning off uh, all the time if there was no airflow. Okay, it's just a helper. Now, they can be electric, they can be gas. Uh, they're gas heat exchangers that you can put into these things. Uh, into the duct. When you get this duct heater, it doesn't come with the duct here, it's just this part here, and you just cut a hole in it and you put that in. It's really a simple system. The only thing I really wanted to emphasize on it is that it has to have some sort of shutdown, like this pressure switch, so that it does not operate when the fan is off. Pretty simple device. You'll see these uh, in a lot of places where they have a need for more heat in just one part of a ductwork system. Okay, that's it on this one.